A lineage in Buddhism is a line of transmission of the Buddhist teaching that is theoretically traced back to the Buddha himself. The acknowledgement of the transmission can be oral or certified in documents. Several branches of Buddhism, including Chan, including Zen and Son, and Tibetan Buddhism maintain records of their historical teachers. These records serve as a validation for the living exponents of the tradition. The historical authenticity of Buddhist lineage is questionable. Stephen Batchelor has claimed, speaking about specifically Japanese Zen lineage, "...the historicity of this lineage simply does not withstand critical scrutiny." Eric Storley has noted that transmission "...is simply false on historical grounds." Edward Kahn said much of the traditions about the early history of Chan are the inventions of a later age. Vinaya In the lineage of the Vinaya, the requirements for ordination as a bhikkhu monk, or a bhikkhuni nun, include the presence of at least five other monks, one of whom must be a fully ordained preceptor, and another an acharya teacher. This lineage for ordaining bhikshunas became extinct in the Theravada school and in Tibetan Buddhism. Therefore, when Shramanarikas like Tenzin Palmo wanted full ordination, she had to travel to Hong Kong. <laughs> Mahasiddha Lineages in the Mahasiddha tradition do not necessarily originate from Gautama Buddha, but are ultimately grounded, like all Buddhist lineages, in the Adi Buddha. <laughs> Chan and Zen lineages <laughs> Construction of lineages The idea of a patriarchal lineage in Chan Buddhism dates back to the epitaph for Furu, Furu 638 a disciple of the fifth patriarch, Hongren, Hongren 601 In the long scroll of the treatise on the two entrances and four practices and the continued biographies of eminent monks, Daoyu and Huk are the only explicitly identified disciples of Bodhidharma. The epitaph gives a line of descent identifying Bodhidharma as the first patriarch. In the 6th century, biographies of famous monks were collected. From this genre, the typical Chan lineage was developed. These famous biographies were non sectarian. The Chan biographical works, however, aimed to establish Chan as a legitimate school of Buddhism traceable to its Indian origins, and at the same time championed a particular form of Chan. Historical accuracy was of little concern to the compilers, old legends were repeated, new stories were invented and reiterated until they too became legends. D. T. Suzuki contends that Chan's growth in popularity during the 7th and 8th centuries attracted criticism that it had no authorized records of its direct transmission from the founder of Buddhism, and that Chan historians made Bodhidharma the 28th patriarch of Buddhism in response to such attacks. Six patriarchs The earliest lineages described the lineage from Bodhidharma to Wainung. There is no generally accepted seventh Chinese patriarch. The principal teachers of the Chan, Zen, and Son traditions are commonly known in English translations as patriarchs. However, the more precise terminology would be ancestors or founders. Chinese, Zhu Pinyin, Zhu, and ancestral masters or founding masters chinese zushi as the commonly used chinese terms are gender neutral various records of different authors are known which give a variation of transmission lines topic <laughs> <laughs> continuous lineage from gautama buddha Eventually these descriptions of the lineage evolved into a continuous lineage from Gautama Buddha to Bodhidharma. The idea of a line of descent from Gautama is the basis for the distinctive lineage tradition of Chan. According to the Song of Enlightenment by Yangjia Xuanwei one of the chief disciples of Wainung, Bodhidharma was the 28th patriarch of Buddhism in a line of descent from Gautama Buddha through his disciple Mahakasyapa. 
Mahakashyapa was the first, leading the line of transmission. Twenty-eight fathers followed him in the west. The lamp was then brought over the sea to this country. And Bodhidharma became the first father here. His mantle, as we all know, passed over six fathers. And by them many minds came to see the light. The Denkoroku gives 28 patriarchs in this transmission, and 53 overall. Topic. Transmission to Japan Twenty-four different Zen lineages are recorded to be transmitted to Japan. Only three survived until today. Soto was transmitted to Japan by Dogen, who traveled to China for Chan training in the 13th century. After receiving Dharma transmission in the Kaodong school, he returned to Japan and established the lineage there, where it is called the Soto. The Linji school was also transmitted to Japan several times, where it is the Rinzai school. <inaudible> Jodo Shinshu In Jodo Shinshu, patriarch refers to seven Indian, Chinese and Japanese masters before its founder, Shinran. Tibetan Buddhism The 14th Dalai Lama, in the foreword to Karmapa, the sacred prophecy states, within the context of Tibetan Buddhism, the importance of lineage extends far beyond the ordinary sense of a particular line of inheritance or descent. Lineage is a sacred trust through which the integrity of Buddha's teachings is preserved intact as it is transmitted from one generation to the next. The vital link through which the spiritual tradition is nourished and maintained is the profound connection between an enlightened master and perfectly devoted disciple. The master-disciple relationship is considered extremely sacred by all the major schools of Tibetan Buddhism. Karma Kagyu Possession of lineage Wallace renders into English a citation of Karma Chagma Wiley, Karma Chags Med, Florida. 17th century that contains an embedded quotation attributed to Naropa CE. The crucial, primary qualification of a spiritual mentor is stated by Naropa. The qualification of a spiritual mentor is that t he, y s he possesses the lineage. The single meaning of the Vajra speech states, There is great profundity in the connection within the lineage of the holy Dharma. The real lineage of the realization of this Dharma, which transfer blessings, is the unbroken rosary of Buddhas. Preservation of lineages Gyatrul, b. 1924, in a purport to Karma Chagma, conveys Dilgo Kayach's Samaya, diligence and humility in receiving Vajrayana empowerment, lineal Dharma transmission, and R. Lung, as rendered into English by Wallace, Chagmay et al., 1998, p. 21. With respect to oral transmission, even if the lineage is impure, it is not a problem. Dilgo Kayantsi Rinpoche often sought out and received any oral transmission he thought was on the verge of disappearing. It made no difference who was giving it. He would receive it and, in turn, pass it on to make sure that the lineage remained unbroken. Chod Chod is an advanced spiritual practice known as cutting through the ego. This practice, based on the Prajnaparamita Sutra, uses specific meditations and tantric ritual. There are several hagiographic accounts of how Chod came to Tibet. One Mamtar hagiography asserts that shortly after Kamalasila won his famous debate with Mohayan as to whether Tibet should adopt the sudden route to enlightenment or his own gradual route, Kamalasila enacted Foa, transferring his mindstream to animate a corpse polluted with contagion in order to safely move the hazard it presented. As the mindstream of Kamalasila was otherwise engaged, a Mahasiddha named Dampa Sangyi came across the vacant kutan or physical basis of Kamalasila. 
Dampa Sangyi was not karmically blessed with an aesthetic corporeal form, and upon finding the very handsome and healthy empty body of Kamalasila, which he assumed to be a newly dead fresh corpse, used Foa to transfer his own mindstream into Kamalasila's body. Dampa Sangyi's mindstream in Kamalasila's body continued the ascent to the Himalaya and thereby transmitted the pacification of suffering teachings and the Indian form of Chad which contributed to the Mahamudra Chad of Makag Labdran. The mindstream of Kamalasila was unable to return to his own Kutan and so was forced to enter the vacant body of Dampa Sangyi. See also Dharma transmission Gotra Religious order Sangharaha Zen lineage charts Notes <laughs>